Hi, I'd like to introduce you to your Mitel 6920 model telephone. With your telephone, you should have been placed near it a laminated instructional sheet. I would first like to introduce you to the icons and functions at the top of your phone in the display. At the top of the phone, you will have your extension number. The keys below that, to the left of the screen, are your programmable keys. The first two lines are for your own extension. You can receive up to two calls at the same time or be on one call, place a call on hold and receive a call on the second call or make another call. And then most of the classroom phones will also have a speed dial to go to their front office. The additional keys that are blank will be, uh, you'll be allowed to program your own personal speed call. These phones have up to 18 programmable keys. They have multiple pages. You'll see the dots at the bottom of your phone to show you which page you are on. I'm on page one right now by the blue dot, and I have a navigation and selection tool, and I can use this to arrow over to my multiple screens where I would have additional blank keys. Right below that, you have your soft keys. Different prompts will come up for functionality based on your uh, current activity. Right now, there's a prompt for hot desk. You probably will not use this feature. This is for the traveling staff, such as social workers. At the top of your phone, you also, where, across from your extension, have a notification bar. You'll have icons that pop up when you have missed calls or vo a voicemail message. Um, the, as I said, the navigation um, dial lets you go back and forth. If you want to select something, you would hit the center of that key. And I'm going to go back to my home screen or my page one. Now I'm going to cover the rest of the feature keys that are on the bottom of the telephone. Starting um, on the bottom here, this is your speaker and headset key. You don't have any headsets attached, so that doesn't apply. But if you want to make a call on your speakerphone, you would just start dialing. On these phones, when you want to dial out, you will need to dial 91 plus your 10-digit phone number. So I can make my selection and start dialing. If I make a mistake, I can hit this red handset to disconnect. I also, if I start dialing and make a mistake, I can use a backspace to correct it or press this to end the call or this key. The extensions in the school district, uh, some of them, a lot of them have changed. Uh, so you will need to find out the new extensions and I'll show you how to uh, look those up by name. Mo the school's main numbers, central office, traveling staff and therapists uh, will retain their existing phone numbers. If you are on your speakerphone, and I would like to pick it, uh, go to my handset, I would lift my handset up. And if I want to go back to my speakerphone, I'm going to hit speaker first and then put my handset down. And in this case, I'm going to end my call. Right above that is your mute key. So this will mute both your handset and your speakerphone. If I'm on speakerphone and I choose to mute it, the red light will go on. So you can turn that on and off. The pause key, this is, or the pause symbol, this is your hold feature key. So when you have a call and you'd like to place it on hold, you're going to press this key. And then it will show that same symbol up at the top of your phone on the line that you were on. To go back to the caller, you'll select where you place the call on hold. Above the, the hold key is your redial. If you select your redial key, your phone will go to a list of your call history and it will bring up your outgoing calls. And you can select by scrolling over to your list. You would have multiple calls once your phone was in use and you could then say dial if that's the last, if that's the call you want to make. You can also tap that key twice 
to get to that and close. As I've already demonstrated, the red handset key is called your goodbye key, or it will cancel the last thing you were doing. So as I said, if you start dialing or do something and you want to get out of that functionality, you would just hit the red handset. I will show you how to program your blank keys for personal speed calls. All you need to do, and this is very simple, is go to a blank key and just hold the key down until this screen pops up. I then have the choice to label it, which I would need to so I know what it's being used for, and you'll use your dial pad, and it's like old style texting, so if I want to put in Jimmy John's, I would put, uh, that's a J, that's hard to read, but I would keep hitting the four till I got the I, This star is the space, and you can continue. You can always back up if you make a mistake or you pause too long. Okay, and to program the phone number in, you'll want to be on the number field and then you will dial the phone number as you would manually dial it. So I need to include the nine, the one, area code, and the phone number. And when I'm ready to save it, you can just arrow down, and then you'll get the prompt to save it. And now I have a speed dial for Jimmy John's. And it could be a one-touch dialing, which obviously I didn't put a real number in there. If I need to change that, Again, I just hold it down until the screen pops up, and I can backspace to remove it. You may be wondering what this private option is for. If you check this by um, hitting the circle for select, the phone number would not display when you use the speed dial. Some people might want to use that if they programmed in their home phone number and labeled it home, but generally not in use. and I'm just going to delete that key. Okay, next I would like to show you, down on this side you have your volume keys. This adjusts your ringer, your handset volume, and also your speaker volume. So if you'd like to increase your speaker or decrease it, you can just do that. If you want to adjust your ringer when your phone is ringing, while it's ringing, you can use those the volume key to adjust it up or down. And if I'm on my handset, I can use that to adjust the volume in my handset. Right above that is your uh, gear icon, and that's for your settings. And once you press that, you can use your navigation um, to scroll through there. And one thing I can show you is your audio. If you would like to change your ringtone, to sound different than maybe a phone that's next to you, you would scroll till it says audio and it says ringtones underneath and I hit select. And my phone will start to ring and I can arrow over and down and listen to different types of tones. And I hit select by pressing the center on the one that I would like to choose and I can hit close to get out of that. So that's one example. Another thing under settings that you might want to use is to scroll to the display. And once I get to display, I hit select and I can change my brightness or how long until my screensaver goes on or how dim does it get on the screensaver. I'm just going to hit cancel. I don't need to change those settings and close again. Right above that, there is a little recorder uh, type icon and that's for your voicemail. So if you have voicemail, you will have several notifications. One, there's a small light at the top of the phone that will flash red and you can press this key Hello. to call voicemail. 6348, please enter your passcode. 
Okay, that's what it would sound like. On your new system, you will also have voicemail to email notification. So not only will you get the light on your phone, but you will get an email with the subject line of the date and time of the call and the caller ID, if we have it. And then there will be a link for you to click on to play your message over your PC. If you can access your email through your cell phone, it would play over your cell phone. So you have new options on that. Right above that, there are two arrows. Uh, this is called your call history key. So if I press that, it says call history at the top, and I have several options. And if I use my navigation wheel, I can scroll up. These are all my calls. These are my missed calls. These are my outgoing calls. And these are my received calls. And if I wanted to choose from one of the lists, I can scroll over and select the option I want, and then I can press dial from there and it will ring the number that I selected. You also have a notification at the top of your screen to show you if you have missed calls. And if you want to see those, you would just hit your call history key. Right above that is your contacts key. And this will be a way for you to look up people's extensions within the district. So once I hit the contacts key, I'm going to scroll down to corporate and I'm going to um, hit search, and I would put in the first few letters of someone's last name. And again, you're, you use your keypad, and I can just put in a few of the first, um, the first few letters of the last name, and then do a search. And here I have uh, Tiffany Halstead and I could scroll down and select to dial that person if I chose. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to transfer a call if needed. So first you're on a phone call. And as you notice, your soft keys will change. I now have an option up here for transfer. I'm going to press that key and then dial the extension number of who I want to transfer to. and I can screen the call by waiting for them to pick up. Information technology, this is Julie. Hi Julie, I have a call for you. Okay. And then I hit transfer again to send the call to Julie. Now, if I could not reach her, I transfer and maybe I dial someone else and they're not picking up. I can hit this key back to held to return to my original phone call and try it again. Or I can hit transfer, dial the number, and just hit transfer right away and I don't have to announce it. And it will go right into that person's voicemail if they don't pick up. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to do a conference call. So most often you may want to conference in a third party. So start with your first call or they have called you. I'm going to add a user, dial either the extension or the outside number. Information technology, this is Julie. Hi Julie, I have a conference call I want you to join. Okay, thanks. Just a moment. I will press join calls. You will hear a tone and then your display will say three-party conference. And you could continue to add people by hitting add user and dialing another number. Or I could go back to held and be reconnected. Or I can then disconnect the call. You can add up to eight people in your conference call that includes yourself. If you're going to include someone that is outside the district, after you hit add user, you're going to dial 9, 1, and their phone number. And again, if they don't answer, you can use the back to held prompt. So those are the basic features and functionality of your 6920 model phone. There will be additional training material on the district website. Thank you.